Hello everybody and welcome back to another Toolbox Topic Safety video. If you find this video useful, make sure and give me a thumbs up to encourage me to make more videos of this type. Also subscribe to my YouTube channel where you will find other Toolbox Topic Safety videos and safety related videos and also leadership training videos. Let's get started. This week's toolbox topic is on confined spaces. When in doubt, check it out. Workers die in confined spaces every year, primarily from poor ventilation, but also from falls, drowning, entrapment, and explosions. Would-be rescuers also die with their co-workers by going into the same confined space without adequate protection. A confined space is any space that has limited or restricted means of entry or exit and is not designed for continuous occupancy. Examples of confined spaces include, but are not limited to, tanks, vessels, utility vaults, underground sewers, electrical vaults, pits, or storage bins. There are several issues you need to be aware of with respect to confined spaces. A hazardous atmosphere with poisonous vapors and gases or a lack of oxygen can cause suffocation. Other hazardous atmospheres such as excess of oxygen or the presence of certain gases, vapors, and dust particles can cause explosions. Be sure to maintain an appropriate oxygen level. It should be at least 19.5% but no more than 23.5%. Certain confined spaces such as silos or boilers may contain materials that could engulf a worker. The shape of a confined space may create an entrapment hazard. Workers should also be aware of the potential for falls, drowning hazards, and the presence of snakes, spiders, or rodents that bite. You need to know the procedures to be used when doing work in confined spaces before you go in. Be fully trained in confined space entry. Know your employer's entry procedures and requirements and discuss them with your supervisor. Test the air frequently for toxic gases and oxygen level. Don't rely on your senses. Ventilate the space and be sure to retest before entering, after breaks, or leaving the space for any length of time. Follow required lockout tagout procedures for all energy sources. Get permission and post all required permits. Have a trained attendant nearby who is in constant contact with you and can call for help. And also use the required PPE for the job. Take these rules and procedures seriously and check it out. Make sure that every confined space entry ends with a safe exit. As a final safety reminder, if you suspect something is wrong, leave the space immediately. Thanks for watching. If you found this video useful, make sure and give me a thumbs up to encourage me to make more videos of this type. Also subscribe to my YouTube channel where you will find additional toolbox topic safety videos, other safety related videos, and leadership videos. Thanks for watching. Until we see each other again, take care of yourself, number one. Look out for your coworkers in the field. 
and I'll see you in the field.